Hello YouTube, Lord Marlin here. Today, another revisit of my new and improved Sun Team. I'm gonna add Espeon to the team today and take out Zadu because I kind of noticed that the team has a lot of weaknesses to ice with Zadu on the team, so I wanted to eliminate that large hole in the team. I'm noticing that there are two OU dragons on his team, Dragonite and Garchomp, so that's gonna require Heatran to take care of them. Blaziken can handle Swallow, Slagging, and Charizard because it has a fighting type and it has Rock Slide. And Espeon and Tropius just don't really have any roles to fill. There's no water types on his team and there's no fighting types, so... Let's see how it goes. Alright, Swallow and Garchomp. Of course, Swallow is going to protect. Anybody who's using a Swallow is going to be using probably either a Toxic Orb or a Flame Orb to get Facade to work. So I'm not even going to bother targeting his Swallow, but that Garchomp is absolutely dangerous now with that Sword Stance. Gotta take him down immediately. Dang, Seed Bomb dealt a lot of damage to Garchomp. I was not expecting that, even being neutral damage like that. That's just crazy. Gastro Acid, and I'm pretty darn confident that Return is going to be taking down that Garchomp without any problems. Haha, <laughs> Focus Slash. Oh yeah, big hit. Charizard. Let's try and take down that Swallow. Swallow is fast and dangerous and now that it can keep using Facade like that it's gonna hurt a lot. And lacking any other more suitable move to use against Charizard is gonna be Return again for Slacking. And wow that Facade just is just amazing. It deals a ton of damage. Slacking has really good defenses too. Oh darn! Didn't take down Charizard, and he had a Petia Berry. Oh, he's using Flamethrower. Slacking. With this sunny day, there's no way that Slacking's going to be able to survive that. But in a double battle, I'm surprised he didn't have Heat Wave on his Charizard. So, what do you think? In a double battle, should every Pokemon get rid of the Flamethrower and substitute it with Heat Wave? That's kind of what I've done with this team. Now his HP is so low that no matter what I throw at him, either of these Pokemon are just going to go down in one hit, basically. So, Sucker Punch, yeah, no-brainer there. Bye-bye, Swallow. Charizard is using Substitute. Man, he, he really made a mistake there. If you're wondering what Heatran is doing with Dark Pulse, it's just a really good move because this team has no real way to deal with ghost and psychic types otherwise. And Dragonite, nice. I get the whale on an overused dragon. Earthquake, alright. This is a good test to see if Heatran's up to the task of surviving an earthquake. Yes! I trained him properly. He has maxed out EVs in defense and with that Sucha Berry, ho ho ho. He is capable of surviving an earthquake. That is beautiful. That is absolutely perfect. Nice. And that Dragon Pulse took down his Dragonite. Sweet. Yeah, this team would definitely have a lot of problems taking down dragons because it just cannot learn any ice type moves. And so. That is why Heatran knows Dragon Pulse. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.